Okay, so today we're going to work on this Halloween air balloon composite from Spooju. I'm just going to show you what you get first and then we'll get started. So you're going to get this one first. So if you just want to just add your subject here, you can just add them in and then uh, mask them off. But we're going to actually go in and do the whole thing. So this is um, another version that they have. And um, then they also have the, the basket for foreground, so it's easier. Um, these are my subjects. Um, this is a smoke that's coming out of the pumpkin, and these are just a few leaves that they have. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing you do is get to your image, and you're going to cut them out. So I always do the select uh, subject tool, um, and I push select subject, and it usually do, does a pretty good job, but sometimes you have to fix it. So see, it comes a little bit off here, and I'm not going to do the most perfect job. I'm just going to try to do a fast job so I don't make the video too long for you guys. Here we go. I just want you to get her ear. So I'm going to use the negative to subtract and the positive to add. So I'm going to add on her ear here. Um, let's get this rope off right here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Like I said, I'm not going to do a perfect job. Then when you select your subject, you're going to use the move tool, grab in the area here, and keep holding on to it until you get to the page here and drop it. Now from here, I go into this area, and I right click, and I convert to a smart, smart object that just keeps the pixels good. So like if you keep resizing it, it doesn't get it all um, messed up with the pixels. Then I do Command and Control T to bring up the binding box here. And then you can resize to however you need to do it. So I'm just going to put them about here. And that seems good. And I'm going to do the checkbox. Now I'm going to go and grab the, the basket here. So you're just going to um, use the move tool like we just did. Grab it and move it on over and drop it. Do Command and Control T. And you're just going to line it up as good as you can. That's pretty good. Then you do the checkbox or push enter. Um, the next step, I'm just going to X that out so I know I already have used it. And then I'm going to X this one out too. And now next we're going to work with the smoke. So we're just going to grab the whole thing with the move tool, drag it in. And before we do anything, I'm just going to change the blend mode. So the blend mode's here. It's on normal. Then you're going to, for this, we're going to do screen. Then you do command and control T and we can resize it however you want. You can put it anywhere you want. I'm going to put it about here. Like that, and then you do enter or the checkbox up here. And the next step, let me close that out, is all the leaves. Now this, you can, it's the same thing, you can put them anywhere you want. So we're going to use, uh, click anywhere in the area, use the move tool, grab it, place them anywhere. I'm going to put that one there for now. Uh, let's see, we'll do another one. Put it about here. the next one and then the last one let's see perfect now if you let's say you want to um if you want to resize them you do the same thing command and control t and then you can re you can move them around you can um if you let right click on here you can flip it um or flip it vertical and then you can resize it any way you want. Or if you just want to make another copy, do Command and Control J, uh, J then Command and Control T, and you can just put that somewhere else. Maybe make it extra small over here. Um, now what I like to do is I like to make a shadow layer. So I'm gonna use the curves layer and bring this little box all the way down. And I'm going to close that out. And then in this white area here, I'm going to do Control i to invert it, which means it just hides what I just did. Then I'm going to push B for brush. 
make sure my brush is on white because I want to reveal it. I'm just going to add a little bit of, you know, black over here. And this basically is going to be the shadow because this basket's going to be, you know, have they're going to have a slight shadow from the basket. And then I like to blur it out. So filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I keep it about eight. You can do whatever you guys like. It doesn't matter. And then I'm going to change the opacity down a bit here. I like to shut it off and turn it back on just to make sure that seems about right. And that's about it. Um, let's see. So after this, um, if you're all satisfied and everything's good, or if you're not sure, you can save this as a PSD. Then you can go back in and change whatever you need to change in here. Um, but if you think you're all set, you just right-click here, flatten image. And this is where you would go to your actions, and you can add any actions that you like. Um, then when you're completely satisfied, you just uh, file, save as, and you save it as a JPEG, which is already there, and you name it whatever you want. I'm not going to save it because um, I just want, I'm probably going to go and fix the dogs and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's it. This is a cute backdrop. If you need any other help, just let us know. Thank you.